Hi, I'm Sonia, acting digital editor at Condé Nast Traveller. And I'm Sarah, and I work with Sonia as online associate. And this is our our favourite neighbourhood. I've been coming to Soho since I was a kid, and I still find it the most exciting area of London. It really is the best place for eating and drinking in the whole city. Yeah, and luckily our office is just a five minute walk away. Here are our favourite classic Soho places for you to check out, which mostly involve food and booze. Algerian Coffee Stores on Old Compton Street is one of London's oldest coffee shops. It's more a coffee emporium than a cafe. They sell every coffee maker you could imagine and countless types of freshly roasted coffee beans from around the world to take home. You want to smell some stuff? Yeah, I want to smell some stuff. Something strong and creamy? Something strong? Something smooth? Yeah. So, in a high rise? Oh my god. I think I'm actually high off just sniffing that. That smells really good. I get two black Americanos. It's been serving up strong brews. Seriously strong brews. Since 1887 and still makes one of the best cups in Soho. 120. Wow. It's the cheapest coffee in Soho and the most delicious. Thank you. I'm my way now. Should we go get some food? Yes. Just around the corner is Maison Berteau, a tiny 19th century cake shop. It's London's oldest French patisserie and I love it in here. It smells so good in here. It smells like bread. Every morning, the shelves in the window are stacked out with pastries and cakes made in the kitchen, although I always go for the apple cake. How many coffees are too many? Uh, six. <laughs> okay. There we go. I mean, I could have picked this up. It just felt obscene. <laughs> it's run by Soho legend Michelle, who was a Saturday girl here in the 70s before she bought the place a few years later. Thank you, you're amazing. Is it sacrilege? Shall we be having tea with this? I don't drink tea. Oh, okay. The small upstairs room doubles as an exhibition space, and private views here can get a little cosy. I have real temperature issues, so it might take me a while to drink this. When I was really hungover a while ago, I put salt in my coffee that I paid four pounds for. It was heartbreaking. A couple of streets over on Dean Street is my favourite pub in the whole of London, or maybe the world. The French House, or just the French, as regulars call it. Francis Bacon and Dylan Thomas also used to love this place, and to get along you need to follow the rules. Whatever you do, don't order a pint. They only serve halves. Usual place? Sounds good. The space outside is perfect for people watching. Maybe we go back inside? Maybe too cold? When it's not raining. Okay, let's go back in. Oh, it is is raining. We could get here from the office. We could. Quick over. Down a half. (laughs) Eat some car's brains back to the office. I think they've got a table for us upstairs. Upstairs, there's a brilliant tiny restaurant serving excellent old school French food where you'll want to order everything. Cheers to them. Cheers to Francis. Oh, I already feel drunk. <laughs> God. It's the sound of good bread. Can you hear it? Yeah. Can we please have um, two of the oysters? Oh, yeah. Oh my God, amazing. Whoa, those are huge. There's also no mobile phones to encourage the art of conversation. Between mouthfuls, of course. They're actually delicious. Yeah, they're good. (laughs) And it works. I've had some amazing chats with strangers in here. A mason once taught me the secret handshake, but sadly, I was too tipsy to remember it the next day. It's just the best food. French food. You can't go wrong. Um, The salt cod beignets. These are lighter than I expected. They're delicious. They're super airy. The sea bream. And then aligo, is that like cheesy mashed potato? It's mashed potato with a little bit of cheese and garlic mixed through it. Oh, that sounds delicious. It's a classic. She knew. Thank you. That looks Oh my god, just give that to me. How do they even make this? Oh, it looks so good. I just want to eat that for the rest of my life. The food in here is amazing. Do you have a herb? Uh-huh. Some of that is trying to escape with you. No matter how full you are, you can't walk past nearby old school deli e Camisa and Son without stopping in for Italian treats. 
you want me to lift you up so you can see the pasta? Please do. <laughs> Put me on your shoulders. They sell the most amazing pastas, cured meats, cheeses. How many is enough for two people? About 400 grams. Okay. But what you really want is those freshly constructed sandwiches. Should we order some sandwiches? I don't think we've eaten enough today. <laughs> I am still hungry. I first learned about it on one of my first days at Traveller when the girl who sat next to me brought back one of their sandwiches at lunch. I was so jealous, I set off to find the shop the next day and since then it's been my payday treat. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Have Thank a great you. day. Bye. 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 And now to bed. Almost. Somehow Hazlitt's hotel managed to still feel like a bit of a well-kept secret. You could walk past the Georgian townhouse at the top of Frith Street and not even realise it was a hotel. It really does feel like you're stepping back in time. There are lavish four-poster beds, plush window seats, antiques and creepy old paintings where the eyes seem to follow you. It's so nice. It's bigger than my flat. And I've got a massive bath and a throne loo. Have you got a throne loo? I've got a full-on drawing room with, I think the fire is real. I haven't tried it yet. Even the plumbing feels authentic. A copper bus. There's a private library for residents and an honesty bar. I'm ready for bed. What time is it? About three. <laughs> OK, maybe not yet. Have you seen that bookshelf over there? It's got loads of signed books by the authors who stayed here. Mm. J.K. Rowling. Oh, she yeah, loves, I can see that. She loves it here. A signed first edition of The Philosopher's Stone is one of the most valuable books in the world, apparently. Really? Edition. I've never read any Harry Potter. What? <laughs> That's not true. It's true. <laughs> She's freaking me out. Um, baby is actually terrifying. The baby looks like an old man. <laughs> After a short nap, a day out on Soho isn't complete without a trip to nearby Quo Vadis. This is the perfect spot after a, an extremely taxing day of eating and drinking. Those in the know can head upstairs to the members club for a night of drinks. I love an old fashioned. Is that an old fashioned? Uh, yeah, strong drinks. Can I have the fat man's aged Negroni? Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That, that is, really is good. strong. I didn't think I could do six of these. I think I did two of these. Oh God, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a very long day. It has. More work our way through this. <laughs>